Yeah. 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 Happy birthday to you. Okay, <laughs> okay that's enough. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna make a little incision, okay? Okay. You ready? I don't feel it, right? Well, if you do, tell me. Okay. Okay. I mean, you might feel some pressure, but you shouldn't feel any pain, right? Gotcha. Did you feel any pain? <laughs> That's weird. Yeah, it's kind of odd, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, so we've had about a, a dozen chickens for the last year. We enjoy fresh eggs, and we bring them up here sometimes. And Anyway, so sure enough, we're letting the uh, chickens get out a little bit so they can get some fresh, uh, well, some fresh dirt. To, to, to pick in, okay? Anyway, so I'm not there. I have to run on an errand, and uh, along comes a neighbor's Labrador and goes on a chicken murdering rampage. What? Oh, yeah. Chicken murdering. Not like this dog was eating the chickens. No, this dog was just killing them. Oh. Killed four of our chickens. My darling wife was so upset. She says that, but she doesn't really mean it. I do mean it, actually. Right now, I do. She's upset right now. Did you feel anything there? Uh-uh. Okay. okay. And this is never drained? Uh-uh. A little pressure on you there, okay? okay. Guess what? You've got this is a sebaceous cyst, okay? Okay. You see all that come out of there? That's sebum. We got a whole bunch of mushy white stuff coming out. Oh, my wife is gonna be upset. Why? She loves popping zips and stuff. Is that right? Yeah. Well, at least she can watch it on YouTube, right? That's true. No, but it's a good thing that it's not like a growth or anything. Oh right, yeah. Yeah. So why do these typically occur? That's a good question. What these are are plugged oil glands for whatever reason this happens and then the uh, oil sort of collects underneath the, the skin okay and then uh, you get these cysts that form good news for you is this looks like it's going to come out in one oh, well, <laughs> in, oh, in two <laughs> two small pieces <laughs> in two pieces yeah you're gonna be okay. Well, she's gonna be very happy that you yeah. videoed it. She's gonna see what it was that was bothering you. Stitch, please. Okay. Is there something you want to share? Or? No. No. <laughs> There's not. No. <laughs> I refuse. All right, we're gonna put a stitch in here, okay? All right. And this is the kind of stitch that'll need to be removed by us. All right, so you'll want to come back next week and we'll take okay. these out. What's today? Thursday. It's the 12th of February. Right? It's more work. Oh, shucks. Yeah, so upset. No, it's just another opportunity for me to get paid. Uh -huh. Actually, no, we don't. I mean, this, <laughs> we don't get paid for much of this. In uh, fact, I think I'm serving some kind of penance for having to work with Gonzo. <laughs> you ready to cut that one, uh, Super Gonzo? Jenny, you doing okay there? Yes. A little higher, 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 Don't cut, Gonzo, cut, cut, cut. You're on my way, kid. Over here. Yeah, that's good. It's like you can tell something's gone on, but. Yeah, something's happening there, but. Do you need more four by four? Nope, we're done. Good. Raymond, you're going to feel a stick, sting, and a burn. Ready? Yep. Good. Stick, sting, and a burn. And we're just going to run that along in here. Good, and we're gonna go on the other side a little. Yeah, about 10 years, these things, uh, they, they don't wanna just go away on their own, unfortunately. What they'll do is they'll drain, and or they'll get infected, and we deal with them. Good, have you had any fevers or chills or anything like that? No. All right, a little bit more medicine going in here. There you go, did you feel that one? A little bit. A little bit? Okay. Good. Coconut, what are you doing this weekend? Okay, let me just come right across the area there where we put the lidocaine with epinephrine. And we're just looking to get through the skin at this point. You a Texans fan, my friend? 
Oh, secondary. Secondary? Who's your primary? Grew up closer to Dallas. Ah, okay. We like Cowboys fans too, don't we, Coconut? Coconut doesn't, though. She's, uh, she's a little bit different. She's not a Texan sports fan. More of a Rangers. Are you? Baseball? Yeah. You gotta be careful, because sometimes people say Rangers, they mean hockey. Yeah. So you're gonna feel me doing some tugging here. Yep. And what we're doing is we're working just to dissect this out. We're gonna try to get the whole cyst to come out. I want to back up just a wee bit, just for orientation purposes there. Yeah, 10 year old cyst, we're always uh, taking our, uh, <laughs> taking a risk with these because you get into them and it turns out they're so scarred in that they take a long time to, to move them out, to dissect them. So you gonna watch the games this weekend? Oh, I'm sure. Did the Cowboys already play? Uh, Sunday night, I think. They play Sunday night, okay. I know they had, uh, they ended up winning the game with the Texans. I guess it's not really a game, the, the uh, preseason game, right? I don't okay. really count those as a real football game. Hey, we got Gonzo here. Are you feeling something? No. Just... I don't know. I just took a wild guess. It's just a rumor around the clinic that you like to drink. Well, now mm -hmm. we're getting some goop out here. Mm -hmm. So we're... We're actually draining a little bit. You get that? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, guess what, Raymond? Uh, looks like you're still infected here. Because uh, we just got into the cyst and we just got a whole bunch of... Oh, man, that stuff's strong, too. Here comes some more. Oh. Ooh. That's how you looked yesterday. That's how I looked. I was so green like that yesterday. Oh, that's terrible. You all right down there, pal? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh man. That almost got us. <sighs> it might have got me. I, I don't know. Check. I Is it anywhere? That. that would be so cool. Oh, I that. mean. I mean, we it'd got, be gross. <laughs> we've got but pus cool. everywhere over here. Okay, this is not so cool now. <laughs> not when they start squirting out. Oh, good grief. That is awful. You're making him feel bad. <laughs> well, <laughs> he should feel bad bringing all this pus in here today. Here, I've, I've been carrying it for a couple of weeks now. You've been hauling that around, huh? That was just a little piece of it. Here's the, here's the, the main part of the sack is right there. Okay. What I'm looking for in here is just any residual sack that might have been off to the side, like that right there. That's some. Um, I'm gonna get that. And we're gonna throw a few stitches in here. You finished all your antibiotics, right? Um, I'm on the th three out of the fifteen, so I still okay. got the. You still have quite a few then. Still quite a few to go. Yeah. Okay. Coconut, I'm gonna need you to get me a little, um, uh Hey folks, are you wondering how to boost your immune system to help protect yourself in cold and flu season? Well, maybe it's time for you to stack up on Meta7. Meta7 ingredients like B12 and B6 are the building blocks to a healthy immune system. In fact, according to health.com, vitamin B12 is a powerhouse. It helps make DNA, nerve and blood cells, and is crucial for a healthy brain and immune system. So if you're over 50, don't eat a balanced diet, or suffer from fatigue and could use a nice boost, then try Meta7 today. Meta7, I've gotten more energy uh, I feel good. I don't have any aches and pains like I usually have. And I notice just more energy with them. Since I spend more energy and more energetic, mm -hmm. I sleep better. So it's been a pretty good product for me. Notice a huge, tremendous energy boost. The four hours were really sluggish. I didn't want to do anything, even my work. It showed it, but now since I've been on it, my work is getting completed. Check out the Amazon links in the description below. And you can order today with Amazon Prime. 
Do you love Dr. Gilmore's cyst bursting, pimple popping, and infection draining videos? Want to see the extended procedures with never before seen footage, early releases, and no ads? Then support us on Patreon for dozens of HD ad free videos. And don't worry, you can still watch on YouTube for free. But if you want the premium content with no ads, become a patron on Patreon. There's a link in the description.